Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my brutally honest review of my first year of university um, studying architecture at Nottingham. So for this video here, I'm not really going to focus too much on my course as I understand that most people who are going to be watching this video are kind of just interested in university life in general and not really the nitty gritties of my um, experience on my course. Um, but if you do have any questions at all about architecture specifically, feel free to leave them in the comments below or any other questions at the University of Nottingham and I'll be happy to answer them. So, flashback right at the beginning of the year and it was Freshers Week. So, all of the hype surrounding it, obviously it's notorious in the UK for being a week of just partying. And I would say it didn't live up to my expectations, to be honest. I had such a fun time. Um, met so many lovely people um, so many of them I've still formed my like core group of friends at the end of the year which I know doesn't happen for everyone and lots of people are concerned about the friends they make in Precious Week um, and I'm going to be doing more videos closer to when um, some of you guys start university about that but for me I made some amazing friends um, so my accommodation was actually slightly different to most as I was actually in a catered hall. Um, so the catered halls at Nottingham, um, I'm a student ambassador so I should actually know this. I think there's about um, 15 or so on the main University Park campus and then there's a few on um, Jubilee campus and then there's also accommodation at Sutton Bonington campus. And then alongside the catered, there's self-catered halls. Um, so there's Broadgate Park and Raleigh Park, which are the two main ones which um, people on University Park or Jubilee Campus use. So my hall was Lincoln Hall and there was about 250 people or so in it. Um, it's slightly different now because as of um, 2020 entry onwards um, the call has become a quiet tool so whilst that could be perfect for some people that really wouldn't have suited me at all and honestly I love the social aspect of it so much. Um, I had a shared study room that was actually quite unique um, with one of my bestest friends Kirsty who I'd never met before university. We had separate bedrooms and then in the middle there was, um, well it was supposed to be for studying but to be honest most of the time we used it for pre's and having games and film nights and it was just such a lovely social space where all my friends from all different blocks could come together. So that was kind of the beginning of it. There was loads of partying and crashes, loads of just socialising and getting to know people, which was honestly so lovely. Um, so about the food in catered halls, some of you might want to know about that. Um, we had um, three meals a day catered for us on the weekdays and at the weekends there was like brunch and dinner. And it was so good. Honestly, I'm a vegetarian and I had so much food after and there was always so much choice and it was um like really nice quality and I would 100% recommend it. And they're really good at like catering for different dietary requirements. And if you've got friends as well who are in other halls, they can actually come over and like pay to have a meal with you, which is really nice. And one of the really nice things about it is that you get one of these, which is your student card, but this acts as a meal card, which means you can scan it um, at any different cafe or restaurant on campus. And you had, we I think we had £28.50 that you could spend on any food or non-alcoholic drink throughout the week for lunch times, which was so good. And especially if you had friends coming over from different universities, you could treat them all to a really nice lunch. And it was just such a, um, a fun thing to have, like milkshakes in the evening, everything like that. The social life of the rest of the year lived up to expectations. Nottingham's got uh, such a reputation of being a very um, nightlife, ex like having excellent nightlife, um, being a real party city and yeah, it was so good. I really enjoyed it. But equally, there was lots of opportunities to like not get as involved in the nightlife if that isn't really for you. Um, 
other like societies wise um i was involved in the cu really heavily um which was really exciting um there was a like a story which is a big events week which they hosted um i was also part of a local church which i really loved and i'm really looking forward to going back in september and seeing some of my um friends from there um the david ross sports center holds so many like huge gyms swimming pool climbing wall um squash courts sports halls um loads of outdoor facilities such an incredible facility and so many sports societies are held from there so i've got friends in kayaking canoe polo um fencing like a whole range of sports and they go right from the very amateur beginner level um up to like national teams so anywhere on the spectrum which you fit in you can get involved with and they have really like good value gym memberships um which i really enjoyed using while i was there with regards to the actual course itself um i did architecture as you should all know and it was it was really intense but super enjoyable um everyone has a personal tutor that you can go to if you have any questions or queries and they're really just kind of your uh, first point of call and support network which is so lovely to have um you also have access to obviously depending on what subject you have but loads of access to a range of different facilities so um our studios were open all throughout the day and long into the night which we could go to and my accommodation was only actually a five minute walk away um there's also two huge libraries on the park campus and then um other libraries on a Sutton Bonington and Jubilee as well um, and there is a hopper bus that you can get on for totally free that connects all three campuses which is excellent and um yeah so the libraries were fantastic my hall actually had its own library in itself that was kind of open all the time so if um i wasn't really enjoying working in my room i could just go to my hall library which was great so the actual campus itself honestly i miss it so much it was so stunning and beautiful there's the downs that's kind of in the middle of the campus and um it's like surrounded by trees and it's so pretty and um just to the north of the campus is um Willerton Park that's this gorgeous um like it's this gorgeous deer park with a really nice historic house and it's such a nice place just to go for like Saturday Sunday morning walks you can go for jogs around there it's so pretty um the actual city centre is about 15 minutes away by tram which is um perfect for going in for like shopping um there's lots of attractions in the city center itself like there's um theaters there's like lots of bars there's um a playhouse and ice rings and bowling alleys and all the kind of standard city center attractions um art galleries and stuff um and on a night out the uber is only like one pound per person when you split it which is so affordable especially compared to where i live at home and yeah honestly like i i've had such a fantastic year when it went online obviously it changed quite a lot um i was i'm actually a student ambassador for the university so i get to wear a little funky t-shirt and give tours around the campus which is quite a lot of fun um and like talk to prospective students and stuff so obviously none of that can be going ahead at the moment in terms of like um giving tours around so um i'm quite involved in prom like doing things like that online at the moment um so if any of you will have any questions about it just let me know and i can send the answers through to you um but the actual side of the course um they've been so amazing at dealing with the corona response so every single week we had um two 40 minute calls from our tutors about our studio work on Microsoft Teams, which we all get access to. Um, any lectures that we missed were um, recorded online. Um, some of the assessments were changed to, because obviously you can't have exams, even though my course doesn't actually have exams, it's all coursework based. And um, those which did, they became um, kind of open book, online, those kind of setups. And for, for those that couldn't be sat under normal conditions, and yeah, we had extensions for everything and it was just such a um, a great experience. Obviously not the same being at home, but it was, I still had the whole social side of being in contact with my friends every single day. 
and yeah i'm so excited to be moving back in september so 20th september i go off to knots i'm very buzzing in my own student house this year which i cannot wait for so make sure you stay tuned for lots of vlogs of that um honestly i cannot wait to whilst it was so lovely being with such a big group of people and it was amazing for first year because it gave you so many opportunities to meet not just your flatmates um, the six of you or six to twelve of you who you're sharing your kitchen with because we um could sit with anybody at dinner um we just go around chat to random people it was such a fun sociable environment and the formal dinners were such a laugh so many stories from those and yeah i cannot wait to get back to that environment again in september albeit a little bit adjusted so if you've just accepted your um, offer for Nottingham, I congratulate you hugely. Well done, it's such a big achievement. Um, getting through the mess of what an academic year this has been. Um, so well done, I'm sure you're so excited to go there. Um, please leave a comment down below if you're in that position and I'd love to have a chat to you about it. And if you're in year, going into um, year 13 and you're just looking at universities at the moment, I hope this video has given you some information on a student's insight into the University of Nottingham. And please let me know if there's any other um, videos you'd like me to make about this topic, um, as I'll happily share any more of my experiences with you about anything particular, if that will be helpful to you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give it a like if you've enjoyed it and do subscribe down below if you wanna see more content from me. Um, I'm gonna be posting super regularly, um, especially whilst I'm not actually at university at the moment. So please do that and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye bye.